Hi students, Ms. Sordell here, discussing today using colored lights to change the mood and affect your photos. So here I have a blinking colored light on right now that comes with the remote. That's just one of the many ways you can use colored lights to enhance your photos. So you can buy lights like this and I'm gonna tell you some other options today of how you can find colored lights. Now, if I was in a dark space right now, you'd really notice these lights on my face more, um, but it's daylight time, but it still really kind of changes the overall look to a portrait or to a product or image that you might be photographing. So that's what we're talking about today is colored lights. One of the most popular colored lights to use is red, and you'll probably see that in a lot of photos. And you could buy red bulb, light bulbs. That's one way. Um, you can actually just buy light bulbs that already come colored. Red and blue are very commonly used, and I'm sure you'll see examples of that. So that could be one way uh, to get colored lights in your image. The light bulbs tend to be a bit stronger of a light source than some that you can buy like this that change colors. And these usually come with a remote. So you'll have a remote and you can actually with one light bulb get multiple colors. So that's kind of a cool thing. So I'm gonna take a couple selfies just with some different colored lights on my face so you can see the difference. So here's the light I was using to take my portraits. And I picked this up um, on Amazon. Um, so I'll show you with the remote how it'll change colors. Um, so there's blue, there's orange, purple. So this will actually change colors as you press and use this wonderful little remote. And you can find uh, light holders like this can one. I actually found it as a, at a garage sale for $3. Someone sold it to me. But you can find them usually at construction stores or art supply stores. So this is one way to use colored lights is actually buying uh, usually their LED light bulbs that change colors with the remote. That's one way. So now I'm just going to try it with the light bulb because light bulbs really do also add a lot of color to your image. Hi, you can see with the red light, it really adds a lot of red reflecting off my skin tone to really change a look. Uh, a lot of times people will like to even use two different light bulbs to create a really unique look. Hi students. So you probably guessed that now I have two different colored lights, here a blue and here a red. And this is very common in uh, using colored lights photographs. Go ahead and do a little research that blue and red are really commonly used because of the way they vibrate off of each other. Um, and they're both primary colors. So that would be using two different colored light sources also to enhance your products or your portraits. Hi students. So now I put a blue light bulb on one side and a red one on the other. And you'll see this kind of lighting often in uh, concert performances, rock shows, uh, on different Instagram photos that the blue and red light mixture, uh, the colored gel lights that you can learn about, really teach you about looking at lighting and shadows on someone's face. So if you have the, the way to practice, getting two different light sources also is a really unique, interesting look. So besides using colored lights to enhance portraits, they can also be used to create an artistic look to some products that you might be photographing. So here, this is just a white coffee mug. And you can see I put the red light on one side and the blue light on the other. And it really creates some unique reflective lighting for the shots that I'm about to take. So you can use colored lights for portraits, but they're also really fun to play with and try on different products. And white is a great color because you really can see those colors bouncing off and reflecting off those products. And now here I've done a yellow with the red light. And in a second, let's look what the original looks like without any of these colored lights on here at all. 
So I know what you might be thinking, wow, that looks really great working with colored lights, but I just don't have it in my budget to buy lights right now. But if you have scotch tape and a few permanent markers, I'm gonna show you a fun, cheap way to create colored lights. It might not be as vibrant as the ones you can buy, but it sure does work. So I'm gonna take a piece of scotch tape, just gonna tape it down to a surface so the sticky side is up. And then I'm gonna put another piece over it, sticky side down. Okay, so I have kind of a, a strip like this. I'm gonna just take a red Sharpie and I'm gonna color a large enough area to go over my cell phone flashlight. Okay, so now I've created a really nice strip. Now, if your only way to take photos is with your cell phone, try to find a small flashlight also, because what we're gonna do is attach this and you're gonna see that the light will become red. So I'm gonna attach this first to my cell phone and take a portrait and show you what it looks like. Some people might also want to experiment with rainbow looking colors. As you can see, it might not be as bright on your object, but it will give it a little bit of a tint of a color. And that's a cheap way you could do it. You could even do two uh, flashlights and do one red and one blue to kind of get the same effects as I showed you earlier in this video. So let's make a few different colors. Again, scotch tape is really all you need. One piece up, and I just kind of bend that corner till it sticks to the surface. One piece down. This way, if you attach it to your cell phone, nothing sticky will be sticking to your cell phone. And this one I'm gonna make blue with a blue Sharpie. You could try it with other markers, but I'm not sure that those will work. I think Sharpie is the way to go. All right, so let's see what we can come up with now. So I turned on my flashlight on my iPhone and I taped the uh, scotch tape that I use Red Sharpie on and let's see what that does. So now you can see, even just putting scotch tape over your flashlight and using that for a light source is a way you could add color lights to an object. Now, now I'm going to use my cell phone to add a little bit of red light on this mug to see what just a red Sharpie and a little scotch tape can do. So I added my scotch tape onto my iPhone flashlight and look at how I could use that to create also my own colored lights. This would also work if you had a flashlight. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the use of colored lights, also considered and called colored gels. In photography, there's a lot of different ways you can add filters to your lights, create colored lights and use colored lights. So go have fun and I hope you try to explore using colored lights in your work.